every single morning as soon as they got up, she warmed his bottle, tied on his bib, and warmed his milk for him. Every day after breakfast, Wilbur always followed her and dad to the bus stop and waited with her. Now, you be a good boy until I get home. There's the bus. Bye bye, Wilbur. I'll see you this afternoon. Coming! Every day was a happy day for Wilbur. And every night was peaceful. He was very content to live with Fern and the Arables family. I love it here!
good old Ethel said. Especially if I make a hole right here next to your trough. What's all the commotion in here? It's the old little sheep and the little, little old lamb. We have a resident. His name is Wilbur. Oh, yeah. The pig. You heard of me? We overheard the Zuckmans discussing you. They plan to keep you nice and comfy. <laughs> and fatten you up with delicious slops. Oh, I am going to like it here. Just the same. We don't envy you, but you do know why they plan, they plan to make you fat and tender, don't you? No, I don't. Now, 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 Learn what? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. It's nice to meet you. Now, Lem, mind you, man. Salutations to you too. What's your name? Megan 
My name is Charlotte. Charlotte what? Charlotte A. Cavatica. I'm a spider. Well, I think you're beautiful. Thank you. And your web is beautiful too. It's my home. I know it looks fragile, but it's really very strong. And it protects me. I'm so happy you'll be my friend, Charlotte. In fact, you're restoring my appetite. Care to join? No, thank you. My <coughs> breakfast is waiting for me on the other side of the web. What will you be having? A fly. I caught it this morning. Ugh. You eat flies. And bugs. Well, actually, I drink their blood. Nasty. I can't help it. It's the way I'm made. Besides, if I didn't eat insects, there would soon be so many they'd take over the earth. Well, I wouldn't want that to happen. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to have my breakfast. suffering from the thoughts and doubts of having a new friend. But as the days slowly passed by, he realized that Charlotte had a kind heart and that she was loyal and true. Spring soon became summer. The early summer days were a jubilee for birds. From the woods, the white throat and sparrow. Oh, peepity, 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 peepity. From the apple trees, the phoebe bird. Phoebe, 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 phoebe. And from the birches, the song's one. Sweet, sweet, sweet interlude. Sweet, sweet, sweet interlude. Sweet, sweet, sweet interlude. And the summer days in a farm were the fairest and happiest of all. The lilacs and apple blossoms were in bloom. The days were warm and soft. And now that school is over, Fern could visit Wilbur almost every day. I'm 
reward you, Avery. That's not fair. You will bring a up on me. <coughs> What's that? Now, I see the rotten egg. Good night. What a stink. Let's get out of here. I'm a little egg, stupid humans. Of course it would be Avery to break the egg. I'm glad that's over. I hope the smell will clear up soon. Hey, Charlotte. Did you mean it when you promised you wouldn't let them kill me? I've never been more serious in my life. How do you plan to do it? Well, I really don't know. But I want you to get plenty of rest and stop worrying. Okay. Good night, Charlotte. Good night. Thank you, Charlotte. Good night. What to do, what to do? I promised to save his life, and I am determined to keep that promise. But how? Wait a minute, that's it? The way to save Wilbur's life is to play a trick on Zuckerman. If I can fool a bug, I can surely fool a man. People are not as smart as bugs. <laughs> that's it. It's not easy, but it must be done. First, I will tear a section out of my web. Then I will leave an open space in the middle. I will weave new threads into the place where I replace the other ones. Swing spinnerets, let out the thread. The longer it gets, the better it's red. Add a girl, pay a line, the set complete the curve, take your time, and tie it off. Now tie it off. Not bad, old girl, for the first time around. But it was quite exhausting. I had better catch a nap before daybreak.
He's definitely no ordinary pig. I'd say he's some pig. <laughs> Let's get some work done. <coughs>
somewhere. Fair. We'll be we'll all right as long as he's attracting all his attention. Now, Luann, there's work to do. Terrific, Pig. Her, you aren't even just baking for the visitors in town today. Let's go help her. Can't I stay? I think you spend way too much time with these animals. You should play with children your own age, like Tommy Watson. Oh, Mother. Or Freddie Johnson. Yeah. Or Henry Fussy. Henry Fussy? Yes. Let's go. Oh, all right. Bye, Wilbur. Bye, Charlotte. Good morning, Wilbur. Good morning, Charlotte. I know you were asleep, so I know you didn't hear it. But your amazing word, they're going to expect more visitors because of it. And he said that if we keep getting more words and more excitement, then you won't kill me until it dies down, at least. Morning, morning, morning. Oh, good morning. Did you see the new word? I was the one who spelled it. Oh, yes, you were. Wilbur. Is all this tension going to go to your head and make you step out? They will never spoil me. Well, you're like a secure yet. You still have the future to worry about. I know. But with friends like you, meh. Because friendship is one of the most satisfying things in the whole world. You better not leave it, Buster. And you better not forget the friendship of good old Templeton, who just had to beat it up all night looking for some word to save you. Try this one. With new radiant action. Wilbur, Runner Brown, I want to see if you are radiant in action. Now, back again. And, and faster.
tomorrow. Come on, Kurt. And hurry back. Tomorrow's the big day, and we'll be leaving in a little while. Okay, Papa. And don't eat too much, it's gonna make you sick to your stomach. And if you go on those swings, you hang on tight, you hear me? Don't get lost. Don't get dirty. Don't get overheated. Watch out for big poppers. Don't cross your shop when the horses are coming. You think it's a bright shot? Well, they have to grow up sometime. And then there's a good place to start, I guess. Here's a sign from over the street, Mr. Zuckerman. We'll put it right here so everyone will know this is the pig they've been hearing about. Well, if we're done for the time being, is it okay if I go see some of my friends down at the Midwest? Sure thing, Luann. Maybe I'll even win one of those novel places I've been hearing about. It's great to be at the fair, isn't it? I'm nearly as excited as the kids. Edith, let's go look at the new track. Just let me dry him off. Look, he's asleep. Martha, let's you and me wander over to the gamble bar. Okay, well, let's try to keep an occasional eye out for an angry. I'll finish. Let's go, then. We'll meet back here in a little while. Thank goodness they're gone. It's way easier for a rat to hide out in the bar than out in the open like this. Well, I think I'm going to do a little exploring. Templeton, please bring me back a word. I'll do what I can. If I don't write a new word in that web, I'm sure Bubba will have a hard time winning that blue ribbon. Ah, he's a cute pig and smart, but I'm sure there will be bigger pigs there and better looking ones. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, may I have your name? Ah, uh, no name. Just call me Uncle. Very well, Uncle. You're rather large. Are you a spring pig? Of course I'm a spring pig. What do you think I was? A spring chicken? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that was a good one. Hey, eh, sister? Mildly funny, but I've heard funnier. Uh, what are you doing here? Eh, uh, they're working on my pet, so I wandered off. Uh, they'll call for me when they know I'm gone. But for now, might as well look at the competition. Eh, uh, no problem here. But what I've seen, I got this blue ribbon all sewn up. Don't need to needle you about it. <laughs> Uncle, where are you, Uncle? Eh, better get going. I gotta get all spiffied up for the crowd to come and admire. Me. Catch you later, sister. <laughs> <laughs> Delivering paper. 
I came to enjoy myself. Well, you've done a very nice job, Templeton. You may run along. The old sheep was right. The fair is a rat's paradise. What eating, what drinking. Bye-bye, my humble Wilbur. Fare thee well, Charlie, old schemer. This is going to be a night to remember the rat's life. I won't ever get to see my children. Of course 
too ill. No, I'm back with fun. Clover, I'm not doing well at all. I don't think me or my ex act will make it back to the barn. Oh, this is making me very nervous. Why are you talking like this? Now stop worrying. Today's your big day. I'm sure you'll win. What a night! What freezing? What carousing? <coughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. I must have eaten the remains of like 30 lunches. Oh my god, is it rich? Rich! You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You're gonna suffer from an acute case of indigestion. It's not me you should be worrying about, Wilbur. What do you mean? As I came across that pen next door where that pink pong so awful is, I noticed the blue ribbon on the front of his pen. That means he won first prize. Oh no! Oh no is right. Just you wait till Zuckerman gets some hankering for some fresh pork or some bacon. He'll stick the knife to you, my be boy. Be still, Templeton. Wilbur, don't pay any attention to him. Oh, look at him. He's so scared everybody's gonna faint again. No, I'm not! Whatever happens, will happen. And so what if I don't live as long as I would have liked to? I've lived very well, and a good life is much more important than a long life. And I'd say this one time I stop worrying about myself all the time. Like you, Templeton. You didn't even know such Charlotte's making an egg sack. Egg sack? There are 514 children in this peachy little sack. Well, congratulations. This has been a night. Oh, I'm very sorry about the blue ribbon, Wilbur, but you're being very brave about it. Bravery is just one of the many things I've learned from you, Charlotte. My true friend. Look! Look, everybody! Look what it says to Charlotte's left! Humble! My goodness! Humble! Well, we sure don't win the blue ribbon now. Oh no! I can't believe it! What is it, Avery? The pig of winners ought to win first prize! This is no, terrible. Hold on. There. It What's is one of the stats. What's everybody crying about? Yeah. Give Wilbur his butterfly back. It's like he didn't win. People are still going to come by and see the pig and what's written in the web. So let's get to work. That's the spirit, Homer. I'll give him his breakfast. I'll hold with the back of him. Bert, you and Avery, tidy up this area. Homer, I think that sign needs to be a little more prominent. What's prominent mean? It means easy to see, more noticeable. You're often better for me yourself, Avery. Attention, please, attention, please. We would like to ask as many of you as possible to assemble in the livestock area, where we are about to present a special award. Special award? It must be for the cows or the horses. When you arrive at the livestock area, please go to the section where the pigs are located. Looks like somebody's going to get another award around here. That fat pig over there. We will ask you to report directly to the pig owned by Mr. Homer Zuckerman. The pig owned by Mr. Homer. Yeah, no! Well, don't just stand there. People will be coming by any minute. We have not a moment to lose. I'll get four shot. I'll get rid of the slot bucket. <laughs> Sorry, Eden.
We simply know that we are dealing with supernatural forces here, and we should all feel very proud and grateful. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I must not take any more of your valuable time. On behalf of the governors of the fair, I take the honor and present a special award of $25 to Mr. Homer Zucker. Don't want those donors at the fair to think the 
prize winning paid local mess. Well, sir, I think it turned out to be a mighty fine fair. Mighty fine. The very best one. Now, Wilbur, let's go. This will be a day you can tell your grandpicks about. Goodbye, Charlotte. Bye. Goodbye, Wilbur. Goodbye, my friend. And thank you. Till the next. 